Jake and I will be hosting this week's podcast. This week we are focusing on sport, as between the 8th and 10th of June it has been Sports Day. At Rougemont we love sport and are very competitive. We will be asking children all over the prep school. We will also be interviewing teachers, parents and even sixth form students. Let's head over to the infants to see how their sports day has gone and which sports they enjoy. Hi Grayson, what is your favourite sport? I'm Grayson and I am in reception. I play football. I play at my dad's room at the football centre. What position do you play? I play position goalie. Why do you like football? Because I like to save the ball. Hi, I'm Boye and I like swimming. I go swimming at the National Sports Centre. How long have you been swimming? For at least two years. What is your favourite stroke? The back and front stroke. Hi Ina, what do you do outside of school? Horse riding. Why do you like horse riding? Brushing the ponies after the, I've rided them. Hi, my name is called Olivia. I love horse riding too. What is your horse's name? My, my horse is called Daisy. Why do you like horse riding? I like trotting. Let's head over to Mrs. Mountford to hear about the Daily Mile. Hi, Mrs. Mountford. What is the Daily Mile? Daily Mile is a children's health and wellbeing initiative that gets the pupils outside to walk, jog or run for 10 to 15 minutes, whether it be daily or just a couple of days a week. It's so simple, yet so effective on the children's health. It's free, you don't need any resources and all you need is an outdoor space. Why do you think it is important for the infant children to take part? I wanted the child, the infant children to take part because I want them to see the benefit of a daily exercise, whether it be to walk, to jog or to run. And hopefully if they start young, they will develop into a healthy young adult. What country have you two reached? Well, in our daily mile destinations at the moment, we are running around the world and we started in China, then went to Japan, then Australia, so we're now on our way to South Africa. How could the juniors implement the daily model into their after-school routine? That's quite easy, actually. Um, I think after you've been in school all day, it's nice to have a break. So, like I said, you could easily find a little route by where you live, whether it's a park or along the canal or just your local area. And um, just time yourself. Go out there, walk jog, run with somebody, with your mum, with your dad, get the whole family involved because you don't need anything. You just need your legs for walking and running and that lovely outdoor space. So get out there and enjoy it. Hi Bella, what is your favourite sport? Hi, my name's Bella and I'm in reception. Tennis. Why do you like tennis? Because you could hit the ball with the racket. Hey, I'm Joe and I'm in year two and I play football. What team do you play for? At the Rangers. What is your favourite skill in training? Putting the ball behind my foot. Welcome to Shay's Riddle of the Week. What goes around the world but stays in one corner? Answer to be released next week. Hello, I'm here at Playtime and I'm going to ask people about their favourite sports. Hi Iggy, what is your favourite sport? It's swimming. And why is that your favourite sport? I quite like how it's got, it's not to do with how just it's not to do with how strong you are it's also to do with your technique because you're moving yourself through the water yes and have you um competed in any events 
Yeah, I go to swim galas and I've competed in the regionals and I think I'm the, I think it's eighth fastest in Wales. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you. Hi, Jack, what is your favorite sport? Mountain biking. And why is that? Because uh, you get to do a load of jumps and stunts and it's really fun. Um, especially when you actually land back, like do like land backwards off it. I don't know why that's fun to me, but it just is. Have you ever competed in any events? No, but next year I might, so. Oh, well, good luck in those events. Hello, Emily. What is your favorite sport? My favorite sport is dance. Why, are you, why is your favorite sport dance? Well, I like doing dancing and musicals, and that's the reason why I decided to join. Oh, right. Have you ever performed in any uh, um, uh, shows? Yes, I once went to London to perform in front of 2,000 people. Oh, wow. Where was that? Uh, London, the Ma- Her Majesty's Theatre. Oh, wow. That sounds amazing. Thanks. Hi, Charlie here. I'm with year three and four discussing their sports day. Hi James, what was your favourite event in sports day and why? Oh, I'm James. I loved the sports day this year. Uh, the, I loved the 50 metre sprint. Because I won. Hello Grace, what was your favourite event? Hi, I'm Grace and my favourite event from sports day was the obstacle course race because it was all of my favourite races combined. What was different about Sports Day this year? I felt Sports Day was different this year because year four, five and six weren't able to watch us. Sports Day this year was weird because parents weren't able to come. But I was still really happy because we still got to take part. Thank you, Mrs Singer and Mrs Jones. We all really enjoyed Sports Day. Hi, year four. What was your favourite event? Hi, I'm Lewis. I'm in year four. And I like the obstacle course because you can army crawl and I want to be in the army. My name is Blue and I, I am in year four and I liked sports day and I liked the events that happened with the crawling because at my house I, I crawl quite a lot and I'm really fast. Were there any team events? Um, yes, we did a relay. Was it boys v girls? Was it boys v girls? Who was the winner? Duffrig won the relay. Why is sports day important to have in school? I think it's important to have a sports day to exercise and have fun. We know that Duffrig won in overall in year six and Gwynog for year five. Who was the overall winner for sports day for year three and four? Caradog are the winners! Hi, Amelia here, interviewing Miss Singer. What is your favourite sporting activity? I've got lots of favourite sports. Um, Growing up, I was an athlete. Um, I was a hurdler and I did lots of competitions as a hurdler. Then I started to fall in love with netball and I did particularly well in that. I represented Wales, um, played netball through under 16, under 18 level, under 21. Um, so I'd spent a lot of my teenage years doing netball and I still like netball now but um, I found another sport um, which is triathlon so that combines swimming, running and biking. So I've got myself a road bike, I quite regularly swim in the sea or in the reservoir and also try and do some running so triathlon isn't my new sport so I haven't got a favourite one, I'd say I've tried lots of different ones and I love all of them. What is your favourite sports to teach? Ooh, favourite sport to teach, that's a tough one. I really love the end product of dance, even though I wouldn't really say I'm a dancer myself. But once I initially start the lesson and then all the children feed their ideas in, seeing what they come up with is really pleasing. Similar with gymnastics, gymnastic routines, um, and also you can have someone who thinks they're not very good at gymnastics, but once they're taught properly and they start to use the equipment and they develop strength and skills, it's really fab to see them, um, even within a short few months. Head springs, hand springs, somersaults, some children who thought they never could um, actually achieve lots of things. 
And I'd probably say swimming um, is really similar as well. We have lots of children that are nervous, children that are good at swimming, and children that are excellent at swimming. But I always find a way of developing and pushing each one of those children and then putting it on show in the swim gala, which is absolutely fab. Who is your favourite sports person? My favourite sports personality would have to be someone who is a really good role model, someone who shows great sportsmanship. Um, they're very good at winning, but also gracious when they lose. Um, and Novak Djokovic um, is a tennis player. He is very exciting to watch, um, but he's also an excellent sports person. He congratulates people when they lose or if he wins. Um, Jess Ennis-Hill, she went to the Olympics, um, won gold 2012 in the heptathlon. She is a fantastic role model. Um, and also probably Serena Williams. She is an incredible sportswoman and athlete. She's so big and powerful. Her personality is fantastic. And she's also recently become a mum, but she's gone back to her sport. And this year, I think she would have looked to win Wimbledon if it was on. She is continuing to perform to the highest level, regardless of all the other challenges that she's encountered. So they would probably be top of my list for role models. Did you enjoy Sports Day this year? And what was different? Oh, Sports Day this year was just amazing. Um, it was a real big effort from everyone, PE department, teaching staff, because we had to do it four times. Now, usually everyone would come out on a Friday afternoon and we'd take two and a half hours to put your three, four, five and six through the track events and through the field events. This year, because of COVID restrictions, we had to stick to our bubbles. So year three, year four, year five, and year six all came out at different intervals. It did seem a little bit quiet to start with because we didn't have any parents watching, um, but very quickly the children rose to the challenge of performing. There was so much competition, there were so many smiles, there were lots of um, people cheering for each other, supporting each other. So even though we didn't have mums and dads in to see us, the atmosphere actually grew throughout the session and it was fantastic to see how so many children enjoyed themselves. We've heard from our pupils, but we've never heard from our parents. Let's hear f from Mr Marshall about his passion for golf. Good morning, I'm Chris, I'm Alex and George's daddy. My favourite golfer in the world is Adam Scott. He's an Australian who won the Masters in 2013. My favourite course to play on is Royal Portrush in Northern Ireland. Unfortunately, I've never had a hole in one. My current handicap is one. I really, really enjoy golf because you get to meet loads of new people. You like to travel and play lots of courses around uh, the world if you get the chance. Um, get lots of good exercise, lots of fresh air. Um, and I really like the history of the game. Hi, I'm here with my brother Charlie and today we'll be talking about his sporting experiences. Hi, I'm Charlie. I'm here to talk about my rugby. What inspired you to play rugby? Um, well, my dad's a very sporty guy, so um, when we grew up, he saw the importance of sport. Um, so he just showed how important it was by getting us involved with it as soon as possible. And obviously, growing up from a young age in New Zealand, I watched the All Blacks. And seeing such a great standard um, just wanted me to play rugby. Also, due to my size that I, that I am... Uh, I'm more tethered towards rugby, so it's the, sort, uh, the sport I've naturally gravitated towards. What team do you play for? I play for Chepstow, as it's my local club where I live. I'm signed on to the Newport High Rugby Academy, as well as the Under-18 Dragons Academy. What team do you support and who's your favourite player? Well, as I'm a part of the Dragons Academy, I support the Dragons as well as it's my local team. I also support Wales, um, and but my favourite team that I support most frequently is the All Blacks, and my favourite player would be Richard McCaw, the famous All Black. Do you want to continue playing rugby after you finish school? 
Uh, yes, ideally, I'd like to continue my rugby career after I leave school. Um, however, there are backup options, but my main focus is to continue my rugby career, yeah. Thank you for joining our podcast, Charlie. For this fortnight's podcast, catch us in two weeks to hear about our activities week, where we cover the Olympics and the Road to Tokyo 2021.